Welcome back to more Dodgeball Academia, everybody. So in this episode, we're going to start by facing off against these four trainer battles. Yes, I'm still calling them trainer battles, because it's obviously inspiration from Pokemon. I just think it's so funny. Yeah, so I'm doing these trainer battles, and that card's going to hit me. No, it actually... Wait, did it? No, what the heck? Give me this ball. I want it. I'm not even doing anything, dude. Well, fine. Take this damage. Oh, what the hell? You actually survived? Oh man, too early again, huh? That was, um, that could have been a little bit more polished, but... It's fine. It's all good. Alright, little victory there. We get 270. That's a level up for Balloony. Not bad. So yeah, if you are following this along and you're a little bit more, like, behind me, the recommendation I have for you, and I mentioned this before, is that if you want to clear out the story stuff down there in the stewards so you get your whole party back and then you come here and do all these battles because that will actually I mean, it just makes a lot more sense to be honest uh, because that way you can get experience for all of your party members you know shoot and then we'll go here do that and that should be it yeah so I'm you know obviously I'm seeing you know, the whole charging thing more to get that meter up faster and just to do a ball ultimate move and that's it. Sure, yeah, I learned Menacing Snarl, your throws now greatly deplete the opponent's ball ultimate meter. Oh wow. That's uh, that's pretty interesting, okay. Alright, so I don't know why that person was just hidden back there though. What the heck? Okay, uh, so there's two people left here. Cats classes, you say? Okay. Just chuck it right away. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. That's right, get hit. Oh man, that thing went real fast. Here, take all these. And now we're just gonna do it here, and that should actually. Is that gonna hit the guy up there? They didn't hit any of them. They were both jumping. Uh, I knew the guy in the back was enough high. I didn't think the guy in the front was actually high enough in altitude. Wow. Okay. Mailer, electrical maintenance. Your counter move now gets a shock effect if you're near the center of the court. Just getting stronger and stronger, you know? That's what we love. Alright, and then we got oh, one more battle. We can do this, though. We can do this. What the hell? <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's because if you get stuck with the sticky thing... I think, um... Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, that's totally a thing, huh? Shoot. Do it, do it. If you get stuck there, it's, you're just gonna get hit like crazy. Like, cause the car is like going fast and fast and, you know. I got to 10 health, by the way. Another 200. Got a banana. Yeah, so I think it makes sense to go back to the infirmary real quick before I actually talk to you because that might be, uh, I don't know. It'll be something. No, why did I go out? Dude, seriously? What's wrong with me? I'm not even focusing anymore. I can't even think right now. Jeez. Alright, heal me up, please. Heal me. Alright, so we're gonna go here, talk to you, 
good cop. So, <laughs> it's like, um, <clears throat> so, how have you still got your baby ball and everyone else is lost theirs, hmm? You must be a really good mother. Uh, that's not what a good cop does, I know. <laughs> Don't try to play coy, spill the beans. The old one good cop, two bad cops trick, eh? I know that one, it won't work. Wow. Bollywood. Hmm. A balloony cop. That's too much for me to handle. Wait, it's my phone. Let me get this. Squid, you can go. No further questions. Right, stop pestering innocent students, you bullies. Oh, we got a lead? Let's go off in the lab. That Santa comes from Blaya de la... What the heck? Quemada. Playa de la quemada. Wait a minute, why did you let her go then? Otto, she's probably holding on to a bunch of baby balls. If we let her go and follow her, we can maybe find out where they're being held. That's clever, and all we need to do is follow her. Quick, let's go everyone. Go, 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 go. Okay, so it's pointing up there. Look, she's over there. She's going into the forest, huh? Oh shoot. And there's two battles here. So yeah, we gotta do them. Let's do the battles. Oh no, it's these freaking balls again, huh? Seriously? Alright, it's gonna be a dodgy battle, I see. We're gonna dodge everything. Well, actually... Well, I got them stuck, so that's good. Shoot. Don't you dare try to capture that. Well, we actually are capturing it. Took way too much damage there, but that's okay. We did it. Victory! That's a level up for Tunico. You'll not get a strain boost if you counter near the center of the court. Mina just got something like that, too. Well, she got like a shocking thing to it. We'll do this battle as well, then we'll heal after. It's okay if I lose auto for this battle. It's not, re not really any worries. Freaking hell. Well, I didn't mean to press that. I meant to actually attack. I don't know why I did that. Oh my god, I didn't have any time to freaking... Well, I am getting some KOs here. Uh, that might not actually reach it, to be honest. Oh, it did. Okay. Got, got one hit in there. That's pretty good. There we go. We did it. One fifty experience points, and so one thing I've noticed is that um, the money you get is always. Um, would that be wait? So if it's one hundred, you get one. It's one percent, right? I think. I've noticed that because like one fifty to one one dollar fifty. I think I don't know. I never noticed that, but I think you're always getting one percent. Is it is it one percent? Like, 1% of the experience you get every battle, you get it as money. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong about my math here, but like, for example, if you get like 100 experience, you get a dollar. If you get 120, you get a dollar 20. And so on and so forth. She's going, oh look, they were cleared. Are all these things cleared now? Damn it. They're not. But, the pathway up here was cleared now. Okay, so... Do I have to jump? I guess I do. Cheese bread! What the heck is this? They're all here! Freeze! We caught you red-handed! Ah! Hand it back now! My grandfather. What are you talking about? Return it to us with ours. Wait, let her explain her reasons. 
My grandfather, he raised me. Taught me a lot of secret techniques from the open seas. One day, he left to find a giant dodge to puss. A legendary sea creature that can throw eight balls at once? Aye, he plunged into the dark sea, foaming with danger and salt. And he never returned to land. That's why I keep sand in my pockets at all times, to help him find his way back. That was the sand that gave me away, eh? Should have patched a hole in my pocket. Well, I'll finance a rescue expedition with these here hardies, I thought to myself. Big Tony put a high price on them, but they're just too cute to sell. Indeed. Obviously. I'd just keep them all for myself forever. And so will I, mate. But we need them back. Well, I need mine at least. Take away my hardies, will you? I do not think so, Tritons. This is absurd. I'm sick of this nonsense. I'm taking our baby balls back right now. Nonsense? Here's your nonsense. Oh my god, he just got annihilated. Oh my, that must be a new height record. Yeah, we didn't need that guy anyway, he's useless. Two arms, me children. And you did us a favor. Actually, I don't want to fight you, Squid, because you really helped us out by getting rid of a stupid ass. So, but it looks like we gotta fight you. And this guy might actually be a little tricky, we'll see. Oh man, he's, he's crazy. Well, if you want to play it that way, I mean, it's fine. So this guy's immune to all damage. Oh, that finally hit you. Oh my god, oh my god, no way. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Shit. Dude! What the hell's wrong with this guy, man? Okay, I finally hit you there. Yeah, you gotta make sure you burn every time. Um, you're good, but this Buccaneer is not done yet. I'm hitting you again, so... This guy dodges all my dodgeballs and I have no choice but to actually uh, just keep filling up my bar so I can actually attack you. Dude, he's freaking blocking everything! Just gotta get lucky and hope that, you know, he doesn't actually dodge one of them. Oh god. Alright. Fine. This is just the battle of ultimate moves because we can't do anything to each other. If you're having trouble with that, you just have to... The strategy is catch his counters. You have to catch his counters um, and then just fill up your bar and hit him with your ultimate move. I know it sounds stupid, but... That guy had like a 90% chance to block any move. Man, those baby balls sure are having a rough day. Alright, everyone stay right where you are. It seems like the baby ball case has come to a close. I thank you all for the assistance. I'll be returning these baby balls to Professor Fortunato myself. Squid, you'll be spending some time with attention. To the brig with me, eh? Figures. I guess we did what we could do, team. Let's go back to the classroom. I need to explain this entire situation to Professor Fortunato. Please walk me back there, please. Please. Oh, yes. Saves me a lot of time. I have called you here because I am thoroughly impressed. I hand you all some perfectly fine baby balls for a day and you return them all into... into... mash baby balls? Yes, young lad, exactly. Look at the state of these poor creatures. You're all getting an F. But you, Otto, not only has your baby ball not been returned, you've even managed to lose your partner. I guess her relationship was really strained. Richard was the only thing keeping us together. I don't think anything was being held together at all. So if you want an F, you better go find them both. What the heck? Right, now Otto's grade is a solid K. Whoa, wait, is that supposed to be a G? Come on, we'll help you find Nino. Yeah, today's ride hasn't ended yet. I suppose not. Gotta go find Nino. Hey, are you kids running late or what? We're just off in the Professor Fortunato's class. We're going to look for Nino. Fortunato's class? Oh, and that must be the one who's late. Whoopsie. Anyway, I think I saw Nino outside just now who's probably heading to the library. I'll be in my classroom if you want to take on the dodging challenge again. Okay, Otto? <laughs> nice little plug-in right there for your minigame. Okay, so we'll just go. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Gotta go into the library. How's my... Yeah, I should call it heal. Since it's on the way, so... It's fine.
Okay, so library's down at the bottom. Let's just go... Gotta go around, of course. I think we're almost done with this day, I'm pretty sure. Like, that should be it for the episode. My levels are... yeah, I mean, 30... low 30s. Level 50 is the max for skills. I don't know if that's... I don't know if it's actually the max, like, level in the game, or just for skills. Excuse me, have you seen Eno around here? Huh? Oh, uh, hello. Yeah, I did see him. He took out a book about refined cuisine or something. Go figure. Uh-oh. Yeah, that sounds weird. Only kitchen around here is at the cafeteria. Let's hurry. Alright, so now we gotta go for the cafeteria. Sure. Nino. We're looking for you. You better be in here. There you are. No. But I'll pay you. I said no. Come on, it'll be a challenge. Don't you want to put your culinary skills to the test? I've already got all the challenge I need to feeding you crazy kids. You're gonna eat little spherikus? Oh, it's you. Of course I'm not gonna eat him. I just want that powerful blend that Omi told us about. The poop coffee? Well, I know that it could unlock my powers. I'd be able to face all of you on an equal footing. Are you crazy? You heard what Noemi mean, said, it can mess up your stomach. You know, Otto, you'll have to face Boris if you want to win the tournament. You'll need power. Wouldn't you be willing to do anything to achieve your dreams? To reach your true potential? We're all doing what we can, dude, and it's enough. Trust me. Plus, who knows what that crazy food will do to you? What if it gives you big red splotches all over your face? I think that would just be puberty. <laughs> I have no idea what you're all going on about, and it's awesome. I'm not doing it. Even I have my limits. None of you understand. We need to return the baby ball right now or our grades. I don't care about grades and I'm sick of having to explain myself. Oh, we're gonna fight you? <sighs> okay. Give me all these. Move. Shoot. What are you doing? What the hell? What is wrong with you? Okay, well you actually got me good that time. I will give it to you, but what the heck is wrong with you, man? Okay, it's actually kind of destroying me. Damn it! Dude! Okay, I got you. He's down to 3 health. He did 210 damage to me. He was psyching me out with his weird twitch dance thing. Whatever that was. My god. Why, Otto? Why must you always get in my way? We're trying to help you. You're keeping me from being what I'm supposed to be. What? No, I just want- I just don't want you to drink poison. Come on, join us. We'll help you train. Help? I won't depend on you. I'll do things my way. Man, that attitude. Why is he so pedantic? Should we go after him? No, let him be. I've been there. He needs to sort things out for himself. Decide what his next step is. Let's take little Ballington back to the classroom. Still haven't said all the name, huh? Hmm. Alright, we're going back to the classroom. Now, am I gonna get into another fight? I have no idea. No clue. But you know what? I'm too lazy to go to the infirmary, so we're just gonna do this. We're gonna go back into the classroom. Alright. Gotta go over to Professor Fortunato. Terrible shade, but he seems quite happy. I suppose I did give him lots of love. I just said in the name, by the way. His name is Bob. Oh, ho, ho. you were one of the only students to give your big ball a name. That's the mark of a good parent. Frankly, I'm impressed, Otto. I'm accepting your assignment. Yes. We did it. Does that mean... Oh, oh no, you're still getting an F. None of that sappy stuff works with me. Nice try. Aw, oh, let's go back to the dorm. I want to sleep for like a week. Alright, so we can end the day. So it was good that I didn't actually go back to the infirmary, because that would be completely pointless since I'm about to go to the infirmary on my way back to the dorm. So I would have uh, wasted some time, that's for sure. Give me all these balls. Yeah, I've already been uh, told a lot of comments about this, but you can actually stock up on a lot of balls and they, they, like, they will stack up. So like right now I have like maybe seven or eight balls with me. Which is pretty awesome. Alright, so uh, today's chapter was 
well, I mean, today, today in the chapter, we're pretty good. Wait, why did I go to the infirmary? Actually, I don't need to because you get a full heal when you sleep, right? I'm pretty sure you do. But yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, we ended up unlocking the parking lot and the sewers, and we also cleared a couple more things in the uh, forest. Uh, we unlocked that one shortcut. We unlocked the pathway up there to, I guess it was Squid's Hideout or something. Still have a couple more pathways. There's a pathway in the top left section of the forest that leads to like a building I, I always see there. Plus another shortcut as well that's being blocked up by another branch. Uh, a couple things for sure. Yep. Another match tomorrow, huh? Yes, I will save. We will save in this one this time. We should be now in episode, yep, episode 6. Oh my god. Hello again. A giant baby ball. Let's get this day started. Ghostly secrets. Oh great. We got some ghosts to deal with now. Where are my friends? Are, are they not here? They're usually here and like they greet me in the morning and stuff, but... I guess not. Yeah, so you do get a full heal. Okay. Hey, what's this? Another letter. It's not even sealed. People just don't put their hearts into stuff anymore. Hey, I got another letter. What's it say? Let's see. It says I am to go to the tombstone in the forest alone. The word alone is underlined several times. I see we question the lunch lady immediately. Yeah, over breakfast. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so we got some battles to do here. What the hell? What do you want? Well, it's a mandatory battle, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Mina, it's time for a rematch. Oh my god, I hate this freaking woman. She catches everything. Oh, it's a two-on-two, -two, huh? This is gonna be a tough battle, I can already tell you. It's gonna be incredibly difficult. She's gonna block everything. Oh my god, that actually worked. Oh, that worked too, though. I'm switching because I need this. Oh god, wait. Oh no, wait, that's that stupid one, that's right. I'll just charge up mine in the meantime. I'll go up to you, use my move. Oh hell yeah, this, this move is so cool. You're only at one... What are you doing? Oh, you weren't even... Oh. Shoot! Calm down, calm down, man. Got you. Okay, it wasn't that bad, actually. Never mind. I thought it was gonna get crazier, but it was not. Beat you! 600 experience. Gotta level up with Shoy. Totally forgot about Shoy. I have not used Shoy at all. Uh huh. Okay, uh, I guess we can check over here. It's a new day, so there might be new stuff in the shop. Let's check it out. Uh, increases strain by 20%. Um, there's no, there's no more of the Baltimore ones. That thing costs almost $30, though. Increases strain by 65%. 42% grants immunity against all status elements, but also blocks HP healing effects and attribute modifiers. That looks actually kind of interesting too. Um, okay, well I'm not I don't think I'm gonna buy anything yet. Well fine, I'll buy this one. Because somebody may actually benefit from this a lot. Um Strains by 20%. Well, I'll give it to you actually. Let's go with that. Wait, when the hell did I get this? Fill the Baltimore meter? What the heck? Dude, I need to- I need to- I need to keep looking at these equipment I get, seriously, because these things are actually really... good. Um, we'll do... Where is that one? That one, that's a 35% one. 
uh, agility, and then I guess I'll do um, spike gloves too. No, actually, I'll do the hallway pass. Sure. Okay. 55%, so now I can do a ultimate move like even earlier, and possibly now even like two in one match, in a regular match. Okay. <coughs> oh god, I'm having a cough attack over here, jeez. Hey, have you heard? A new underground tournament is about to start at Big Tony's Den. Big Tony's Den. Underground tournament. That's a side quest, okay. I think I'm gonna want to do that then. Well, there's actually battles that I want to do too. I just saw some battles up there. Yeah, right here. There's one. We'll do it. There's also the daily challenge as well. You may want to do that one as well. What are these? Oh god, they poison you. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Shoot. We're doing this. Oh, that's only gonna get two of them. What? Okay, I don't know what happened there, but it worked. Poison balls, that's a new thing, that's a new mechanic. We got 350, couple level ups, but no abilities this time around. Wow, okay, so that's the main quest right there. Well, actually, since I'm already here, I'll just do this one. I'll like this part, at least because it's probably going to send us somewhere else. That's not my work. Look at the cursive letters, the excess of underlining, the obviously creepy choice of meaning place, and the exclamation marks. It is a 4 out of 10 effort. And who wrote this? I don't know, get your breakfast and scram. Let's just go to the forest and check it out. Okay, sure. So yeah, I'm glad I did that, because now I don't have to come back to the cafeteria anymore. But there is a side quest, um... Down here. You want to do it. So we're gonna have to go all the way around. There are also maybe more battles over here. Let's see if there is. Uh, no, there's not. Okay. Well, let's do the side quest, whatever this is. The hell? Wait, 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 hold on. Because I'm seeing two things here. Yeah, I'm seeing that one. What? Okay, let's just... Where to start the challenge or where to put your preferred player at the top? Uh, sure. What the heck is this? Is this also like a daily challenge thing in here? It might be. Oh god. Got you. That was fast. Maybe that is a once a day thing. It's possible. 10? What do you mean 10? That was fantastic. Here, take this minor prize. You got 250. Oh, it's just... Okay, so I think this is actually different than like the actual quest over there, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh god. Dude! Wait, wait, wait. Also, why am I fighting two of them? Okay, I'm gonna freaking die. I died. This is actually gonna be hard. After, like, two battles, it's gonna get... Probably gonna have to face three opponents in the next one, then four, then five, whatever. Okay, whatever. Um, so you go back to... I don't even know. Let's just... Talk to you. A single player must enter and they'll be tested to make consecutive battles. Okay. Go to the court if you want to take on the challenge. Well, yeah, but... What? But isn't that just an infinite thing? It looks like it's just an infinite thing. I'm gonna get out of there. I don't know if it's an actual side quest that you can complete, or if it's just like a gauntlet of trying to get good rewards and good money and, and like experience after, but it's like infinite, you know? 
until however long. It looks like it's one of those things. A lot of RPGs have that, you know, like, oh, it's like a gauntlet thing. You know, fantastic rewards and stuff, of course, if you make it to the end. Or, or not the end, sorry, because there is no end, but like further and further and whatever. So I'm pretty sure that doesn't actually have like a defined ending point, that quest. It's just there to do whenever you want to. One. Oh, I see. I see what you gotta do, okay. He only has one HP, but you have to just, I guess, attack him. Let's retry the battle. Sure! So I have to, what, charge up there? Actually, I'm not gonna get the ball. Damn it, I'm dead. Get hit twice and you're dead. Okay, I see. I don't know. I'll, I'll try it. Let's see. I'm gonna try to run up there one more time, but if it, if it doesn't work, it means you have to back away. Are you serious? No, you, ha you can't actually stop in any of them. This is an interesting gimmick battle. It's not any kind of traditional battle at all. Um, I think... Okay, here's what... So he's gonna block everything. Wait, what? What? Well, that's actually unfortunate that I saw that, because I thought it's the same battle every time. But it's not, so that means it's luck-based. If you fail and fail, you just have to keep getting the lucky RNG and hope that he doesn't move forward on the first second of the battle. That's the only thing I can tell you then, just get lucky. <laughs> That's kind of weird design, because... And it's a killer for speedrunners, because can you imagine getting the bad luck? Like five times in a row, and then somebody that you're racing, like a speedrun, gets the good luck on the first battle? Like, it's those little things that sometimes annoy the crap out of, like you know, big major video game fans, because it makes things so luck-based. <laughs> you know, I don't know, it's it's strange, and I'm not the, I'm not the biggest fan of that either. Because that battle is super luck-based, depending on if the computer RNG decides to move him forward one step, or stay back. You know? Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna go to the forest, um... We have to go... Where do we have to go? Oh shit, there's a battle here. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Oh my god, all these poisons. Take all these. Damn it. Give me this. I'm doing it right here. Attack, attack, attack. Still alive? Alright, here we go. That one definitely was not too bad. It's pretty simple. Another 350. And then, uh... Oh wait, this was unlocked now, finally. Yes! It got unlocked, a shortcut. The heck? Alright, I'm going in. Good luck, Otto. So you came to set predicted. Yeah, here, I'm, here I am. Tell us about. I'm challenging you to a duel, Otto. The heck? The prophecy? Okay, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh my god. This might be tough because I'm a little bit wounded, aren't I? Ish. Oh god. Well, I can take my time with this. I don't need to, uh... There's no pressure in me actually... You know, catching the balls. Because there's nobody behind. Oh, damn it. Got you. That was not bad at all. Here we get a 100. That was pretty pathetic. 100 and only one dollar for that. You cannot defeat my powers of premonition, Otto. 
Galaxy and the Stars to lose today's tournament match. It is already decided. I'm going to save my breath for my imminent victory. Did you see? Did you all see that? Wow. Hmm. This is serious. Oh, it's you again. Um. What? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, it was open before. That's true. One way by Luna today. Hmm. Gotta find a way to defend against Luna's attack. Losing in a tournament, that's one thing. But being made fun of by those guys? Yeah. Alright, so we have to go, what, back to Fortunato? Okay. Before I wrap up this episode, I want to see this. Okay, I'm gonna give these to, uh... That to Auto. Grants just enough experience points to level up. Maybe I should wait on that. It's better to do that when you're, like, really low in the... in the bar. Okay. Alright, that's it for all those. Okay. So, yeah, we're gonna go back into the class. It seems um, I will go ahead and heal, of course, and I will also save right in front of the building. Next time, we are going to go back to Fortunato so we can learn about the ghostly technique. That sounds interesting. Whatever that is. Alright, so before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.